Hey folks, it's Kikoski here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Dark Side Detective. And we last we left off, we finished Dawn of the Dead. It was indeed zombies. And worse, it was zombies that were going to be led by a dead mob boss that we were fortunately able to send back to the dark side. All's well that ends well. Apart from the fact that McKing got all the credit, but we know what really happened. Small comfort, but hey, we saved the city, and now it's time for Poltergeist. Dinner with the Dooley family. Oh no, this is gonna end badly. This is gonna end really badly. Poltergeist. Thanks for coming to dinner, Detective. My sister loves meeting my colleagues. Dooley, I've been coming to dinner at your sister's once a month for years. And she loves it. Let's get inside before my tummy revolts. Nothing bad is going to happen whatsoever. There's also a gnome. Oh, look at this friendless chap. Gnome alone, eh? We bought him a friend, but it got lost in New York. I get it. Why is there no sound out of these? They broke last summer, so I glued them back together. Glued them up real good. Oh, Dooley. Patricia is going to be so happy that you made it. It always amuses me that your sister is called Patricia. Why? What, really? You don't think it's odd that you're called Patrick and she's Patricia? Nope, it's a good name. My older sister Patrice agrees, as does my brother. Also Patrice. Also Patrice? How else would we tell them apart from normal Patrice? Did you take the squad car over? I was running late. Sirens are a hungry boy's best friend. Oh, duly. Let's go in. What the? What's going on here? Yeah, Buzz. Turn the TV off if you're playing your joy child, TM. Electricity doesn't grow on trees. <coughs> no, Dooley, the TV. What? I just told him. It's... Alive! <coughs> yes! Alive and angry! <laughs> the things kids watch these days, eh? No, no, Dooley, really, the TV. The things kids watch. <coughs> Whatever this is cooking smells great! You could call me Officer Drooly. Interesting piece. Mum painted it. It's called I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. <coughs> also, have you played I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream? No, I haven't. <coughs> Look, what? Hey, Buzz. Yeah, you made me lose my high score. I hate you. Kids are such magical creatures, eh, Detective? What's going on here? <coughs> Nothing. Buzz, tell your unky detective what happened. Look, fine. Mum rented a video to watch after dinner, but I was bored and put it on. Then my TV flipped out, so I played my game. Where did you rent this video from? Indian Burial Ground Video Rentals, Inc. Um, where's the tape now? I don't know. Still in the machine, I guess. Did you try to reject it? Why would it do that? God. Other than there being a thing in your TV? God, leave me alone. You're ruining my game. You heard him. Don't ruin his game. Goodbye. <laughs> Whatever. Ooh, popcorn. You'll ruin your appetite with that stuff, Buzz. All the more dinner for you to eat, then. We need to get this kid more snacks. Stat. He's got the right idea. <clears throat> Let's see. The workout horror flick, The Exorcist. A story about some vampires realizing the error of their ways, The Found Boys. And the incredibly tame fantasy adventure classic, No Trouble in the Lily. Wait, these aren't books. This is a hidden safe, but there's nothing inside it. I wouldn't leave anything of worth in a place like that. There's a lot of book thieves around this area. They may steal your valuables by mistake, and then everyone would be upset. <coughs> there's a logic to that. Daisies are my favorite type of flower. Mine's wholemeal. The kernel eats is fiber. That's vile. Oh, there is the plug. Also a TV. What the? Save me! What? Are you trapped there? Who are you? <laughs> I'm just yanking your chain. I don't need saving. But the people in this house do! What are you? I'm a poltergeist. A professional haunter of places with a preference towards possessing and or moving things. And this house is my new home! Why are you here? A team of game developers trapped me in a VHS tape. I don't know why, but these fools freed me. And I'm never going back. I want revenge for being trapped like that. An utterly dehumanizing experience. But 
You're not human. I don't care. I just want an excuse to cause trouble. <clears throat> Where have you hidden the remote control? Far away from here and far away from you, Fleshy. <clears throat> Why is nothing ever easy? What do you want? Mayhem! <clears throat> Sorry. Mayhem! That's a good impersonation. Thanks, I've been working hard on it. I'm slowly taking control of this house, and once I do, I'm going to crush everything and everyone in it. <clears throat> you better get everyone out of here, Dooley. Odd, the door's locked. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, I'm going to crush everyone who lives in this block. I need to find a way to exercise this TV, and fast. <clears throat> How polite for a soon-to-be-flattened flesh bag. Not on my watch, creep. <clears throat> I wonder if I can just eject the tape. Nah, uh, uh, Ouch, my fingers. I need some other way to remove. <laughs> Good luck, flashbag. Well, got the plug. Let's just unplug it. I don't think so. Zip, zip. Ow! <laughs> Take that! <laughs> well, looks like we're doomed. No, Dooley, we've got to go into the kitchen and find something there. Glad you boys could make it. Thanks for inviting us, Patricia. I wore my spandex uniform so I'd have room for seconds. Also, there is a spooky doorway there. Ooh, fancy chocolates. Can I taste? Can I? Can I? Patrick Dooley, learn some patience. If I wanted patience, I'd have become a doctor. Brat. Hello. Hi, Francis. I hope you brought your appetite with you. I did. Thanks for having me. My pleasure, Francis. You know I love a new visit. Dinner smells good. Fry it up with some onion and garlic and anything will smell good. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be lovely. It will be better than a steady diet of coffee and donuts anyway. Garlic is good for chasing off unnatural things. May I take some? Sure. Here are some leftovers. I'll leave your hands smelling to thigh. Yay, garlic! I do like garlic. Patricia, have you noticed anything unusual since Buzz tried out that tape? We well, watched it. He watched it already. That boy. So exhausting. Sorry, Francis. I've been running all over the place getting dinner ready, so I don't think I'd have noticed even if the walls were closing in around me. That's exactly what's happening. Well, so long. Talk soon, Francis. Right, let's look at these cupboards. Popular tarts. The breakfast treat of choice for promiscuous children. More popular tarts. Serial killer. Spot them while they're young. Baked beans pizza. Because the little people in your life are disgusting. Pots. I can never foresee a situation where I want to carry a pot around in my jacket. Need some help taking out the washing? Always. Bus is useless when it comes to chores. Thank you, Francis. Sheet! Yay! A waterfall-scented bedsheet. It's not scented, it's just still wet. We got the oven. Careful now, it's piping hot. And the fridge! Don't eat too much, dinner will be ready soon. I won't, I just need to borrow these... Sausages? We have sausages! Meaty mix sausage string. Straight from the old country. Confiscating those for later? Good plan. <laughs> Ooh, chocolates! A box of fancy chocks. We're gonna have to go into the spooky doorway, aren't we? So, what's going on in here? Buzz must have left the pantry light on. He's forever leaving lights on. Does he think electricity grows on trees? That's... not a saying. Um, did your sister get an extension built on the house? A little Buzz's income? Not likely. Hmm, that is a thing that's just happened. You've got a pretty judgy expression for a rubber duck trapped outside of time and space. I wish I could stop, sign. I wish I could. Why is there no actual food in this pantry? More importantly, the remote. There's the remote. I just need to find a way to safely get it. Um... Sausage? They won't reach. Even if they did, they'd only make the remote too greasy to pick up. I need something less greasy to use with this. The sheet? Under no situation is this a safe substitute for rope. Improvised rope! This is the least sturdy rope there ever was. It is the most delicious, however. That is true. Okay, Dooley, hold on to this as tightly as you can. I will never let go, Jack. Oh, don't say that. She did let go. She held on to the prom- Hey, let's discuss this over dinner. Right now, it's time to grab his remote. Fine. Remote! It, it's- dead. Oh. A 
remote control with dead batteries. Retrieved from the bowels of the pantryverse. I don't need or want to go back in there. I did bring my appetite. Um, your pantry. Have you noticed anything dimensional about it? Well, there has been a draft coming from it today. Is that what you mean? Um, sure. But I'll see if I can fix that. That would be fantastic, but try not to get too dirty. Dinner will be ready soon. Well, so long. All right, um... Hmm. Chocolates with battery? Only a terrible guest would do that. Chocolate with gut? Oh! We're gonna take... We're gonna take the batteries from this. Would you like chocolate? Hey, Buzz, want some chocolate? Yes! I'll trade you for the batteries from your joy child, TM. <laughs> no way! Okay, more delicious chocolate for Dooley and me. Hooray! Fine, I'll trade. Oh, denied, Dooley! Batteries. Go away! I'm not sharing these chocks. That makes sense. Buzz's batteries. I'm shocked you got those away from him. But then he is a kid after my own stomach. That's the remote back up and running. We have a working remote. Finally, a working remote control. Will this work? Get that away from me! You received evil VHS. The cassette that started all of this. I need to find something to purify it with. Give me back my tape, you monster! You want to crush us all and I'm the monster? This won't stop me, you know. I'm still going to squish you all. Only now I'll make it slow. Maybe I can do something to this tape that will help me get rid of that thing. Hey, Buzz, would you like an evil tape? What kind of guest do you think I am? The kind that's going to put garlic on a tape. Hopefully, we can stink the evil out of this tape. Ritual package! It's almost ready to go. I just need to cook the garlic's juices into that tape. Uh, this in the oven. I just have to put this in here for a moment so the garlic juices can melt in and cleanse the cassette. And it's ready. Cleanse the VHS! This is silly. One purified tape cassette. Now to pop it back into the VCR and exercise that poltergeist. No extra dialogue here. Just thought I'd check. Any extra dialogue here? I could check the fridge again. No, no more snacking. Honestly, you boys. All right. Have this back. Yeah, give me that. Wait, this doesn't taste right. Damn you! Bacon, cabbage, and potato. My favorite. Hey, he's not wearing uh, his coat, and you're not wearing your hat. Eat up, everyone. I want my three best boys ready for whatever the world throws at them. Thanks, Patricia. No need to thank me. We're all family here. Uh, Cronops are lame. Case closed. That was a quick one. I was expecting it to be relatively quick. Edit. A poltergeist had been unleashed on the house, but we took care of it in time for dinner. Marvelous. Finally, the last case in the game. The Bates Motel. It's Dooley's birthday, so I'm taking him to Twin Lakes' number one roadside attraction to celebrate. Why do I get the feeling something bad's going to happen? Bates Motel! Ooh, spoopy! It's probably quite spoopy. Excited? Boy, am I! This is such a neat way to spend my birthday. Can't believe Chief Scully gave us the time off work. I have a lot more sway with the Chief than you might think. You didn't tell her, did you? No, but perk of the job. I told her L. Chupacabra was causing trouble out here. Is that a gang? Point is, we're not expected back at the office for a few days. So let's get there and kick back. I can't believe it's taken us so long to come to Twin Lakes' finest roadside attraction. The finest and only attraction! I'm excited to see what sort of stuff has been fished up from Lake Monster and stored here. And I'm excited to find out why they've taken all the... Why they're taking all the way out here to the desert and not stored near the lake itself. Anyway, let's grab our bags from the car and sort out our room at reception before we go visit the museum. There's the exit! And the diner! And Dooley! 
can't believe we were able to get into such an exclusive establishment. I think you may want to rein in those expectations, buddy. Trash can! A trash can full of old burrito wrappers and half full energy drink cans. It's a potent drink! It lets you see sounds and hear your heart beatbox. I hope I never have to drink that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's... Looks like it's got a skill on it. Charm and energy drink. For a higher plane of thirst distance. What kind of marketing rubbish is thirst distance? I don't know, but I want some. Oh, duly. I have booked us in. Didn't want to risk there being no rooms left to the inn. Inn? It's a motel, detective. It's a phrase. Hmm? Dooley, why did you bring a lamp? We're already here for the night, so I figured I'd pack light. Just that and some power supplements in case I want to work out while we're here. Hmm. I love you, buddy. Don't ever change. I'll try not to. It's why I'm wearing my uniform on holidays. We got luggage! I know it seems like a lot to pack for one night, but you can never be too prepared. If you're a blood wolf, you won't be prepared at all. I've already packed workout supplements and a torn up phone book. If we go to the road, we should drop our bags off at our room first. If I just drop them here, can we go see the attraction right away? No. Maybe we should ask what room we're in first. Maybe we should ask what room we're in first. So much neon. It's so you can't see how crummy this place is. Oh, I know where my best buddy brings you for a birthday could be crummy. Oh, you haven't seen my salary, buddy. Ah, oh, this place looks great. Did you know the first reception was built in Ohio by Julius Caesar in 932 BC? What history books are you reading? Wait, you can read about history? Oh, Dooley! I'm so glad this place has air con. It's so warm out in the desert. Eh? Stop taking all my cool air! Your room has its own cool air. Go breathe in there. You're raising your temperature level in here. We can just leave. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave. What are you watching? None of your business, that's what. Oh, so rude! Eh, I caught that fish myself. You ain't never caught that one, one that big, have ya? No, that's for sure. We have seen something that's pretty big, though. That ain't for customer's use. It's for when I want to fax my mother, make sure she's fed the cat. She never remembers to feed the damn cat. Every night, I come home to it screaming at her, and her screaming at me, screaming at it. Just feed the damn cat, ma! Why are you using a fax machine for that? I don't want to talk to her. Don't want to talk to you, either. Makes sense. Uh, what else? Oh, water cooler. Hey, that water's not for drinking. Really? What do I look like, a unicorn to you? Of course, really. It's my water. You want water? You go to the diner next door. The desert. The one-stop destination for all your poorly conceived spiritual journeys. There's also the mystery door. Hey, wise guys. Where is it you think you're going? In there is for golden ticket holders. Do you just hold a golden ticket? No? Thought not. All right, fine. Do you want energy drink? I'm not sure he's, that's going to achieve anything. That makes sense. Eh, close the frickin' door, you're letting all the sand in. Why are you here anyway? We, we're here for the attraction. Then you're in the wrong place, moron. This is a motel, as you should have been able to see from the motel sign out front. Not so good at the detective if you're a detective, eh? Attraction's back out in the main road, then you follow the sign. You'll know you're near and you count a localized sandstorm. Localized sandstorm? That's what I said, ain't it? Now you think the smart guy like you can handle all that? We have a room booked here, too. So you're the guys. I was wondering if you were going to turn up. It's late. You're late. You're in room two. Thanks. Don't thank me. I didn't clean the place out after the last guest. Mm. Yay, room key! What was the room number two? It was two. It's not that hard to remember. Two. Now get. All right, bye. Mm. Well, let's go! Rooms! There's one. Do you think I've had... Do you think I've a head for hats? I was thinking for... I'm thinking of trying to wear hats more often. Dooley, you're always wearing a hat. Your police hat. Sure, but I have to wear this for work. I was thinking of a stylish hat. Oh, for off-duty? Huh? No, uh, to wear over this one. On-duty is when I meet the most new people, so I want to try to look my best, you know? Oh, Dooley. It's too dark to see anything inside. 
Not us. We're one over. Alright, let's go. Ooh, vending machine. Do vending machines do birthday cake? Would you really want cake from a vending machine? Would you not? I mean, it would be a question. It's full of out-of-date shampoo and toothpaste. All the food items are gone. Doesn't look like this is at all well maintained. Much like all non-military services in this country. Oh look, there's a bag of cheese puffs in the slot. Might as well take it. These things never go off. Cheese puffs! Contains no cheese. I've been lied to. Maybe we should close the curtains. Ooh, there's three. Three whole rooms? This is the biggest motel I've ever been to. Is it the only motel you've ever been to? Yes! Curtains are pulled over. I can't see inside. Not us. We're one over. Hey, there's a swimming pool! And when we come back, folks, we really should have checked into our room. But instead, we're going to look at the swimming pool. The amazing swimming pool of amazingness. We're not going to swim yet, Dooley. But I want to swim! You've got to put the luggage down first. It's waterproof. Is it really? No. And when we come back, folks, we'll check out the rest of this amazing motel and then go look at that awesome roadside attraction. Truly, this is going to be the best birthday holiday ever. It might also be the only birthday holiday in this game, but that by default makes it the best. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not. And if you are subscribed, press that bell for those notifications. And I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.